Hi guys, so as promised, today I'm going to show you on how to apply LUT on images inside of Photoshop. Here you go. Alright, so basically before we started, I wanted to explain what is LUT, what is it for and how to use it. So basically LUT stands for LUTS which is lookup tables or to be specific color lookup tables. So basically it is a file that contains a color information the color adjustment that we created whether inside of Photoshop or Premiere Pro or any editing uh, applications. So this file will be stored inside as a .cube or .cube and also .3dl or to be specific .3d LUTs. These LUTs uh, with this extension or file format can be used across multiple platforms. Example, it can be used inside of Photoshop. It also can be used inside of Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Avid Composer or any FCP or any other editing software so it's very convenient very flexible one thing that difference uh, about LUT is it only stores the color adjustments so example if you do adjustment in terms of sharpness clarity dehazing or maybe cropping so this LUT will not going to store the information because it's going to store only color information so it's quite different compared to uh, preset in Lightroom because uh, in Lightroom we have a preset which is saved as a dot LR template so it's almost the same, like you can also apply uh, one preset to the whole images by synchronizing it, but it has limitations where the preset in Lightroom only can be used inside the Lightroom because it is safe as .lr templates. So it cannot be bring crossover and use and apply inside of Photoshop, Premiere Pro and other softwares. So that's one of the drawbacks. So basically these lights, it can be used uh, not just for photos, it can be used also for videos, uh, animations. It's basically just like a color grading filter that you can apply to any of your images or any of your visuals. Very simple, right? So I'm just going to jump right into it on how to create the lights and also on how to apply the lights inside of images in Photoshop. So on my on my screen, you can see now I have uh, an image, an image which is a raw image that I shot in uh, in Canon 60. So and on my right side, I have uh, layers, a lot of layers as you can see, a group of layers. So this is my raw uh, original image, and this is all layers that I just hide by um, by press these things which is hiding the layers and this one is just another adjustment just to make a create a fit for the images so if I on any of the color group you can see I have a presets of, on my own that I developed using adjustment inside of Photoshop so these adjustments it can be applied to any images but instead of uh, creating the same thing all over again and just reapply it on all, all over again inside of uh, the second uh, photo which is, which is very um, lengthy process so I'm going to create LUTs where I can just simply drag and use the LUTs across other of, uh, other of any images so example I'm going to pick one uh, I'm going to pick one preset. I think I like this one, League Wall. Okay, so you can see it's very yellowish and then we have blue and we have a little bit of green. So example, if I own this group uh, group of layers, you can see I have several adjustments. I have hue and saturations, I have curves, I have levels. So you can just simply pick any of the group or adjustment that you wanted to create and uh, or convert into LUT. So I'm going to convert this leg wall adjustment into LUT. So I'm going to go to File export and color lookup tables so it will ask you you wanted to export as what i'm going to save um as lego psd my my actual photoshop file and copyright love them projects and you can pick by default i'm just going to leave it quality as 32 or maybe some some people they wanted to have more quality they just put in 64 i'm just gonna use 32 it's just okay for me and you can save in several formats we have 3dl cube csp and icg profile so i will i always enable all of the formats uh, because i think it's easier if i don't want to use it i just can simply delete later so i'm just gonna press ok so here I'm going to rename my LUTs as a Lego. You can see Lego.LUT. And I go to my LUTs file. I create a new folder, Lego, save it, save it inside. So Photoshop is saving my LUTs. Mm -hmm. It's progressing. Alright, so I'm going to apply the Lego LUTs that I just created into my next photo. So I'm going to open my next photo, which is this one. So this one is actually a photo that I just I took using my Sony 6500. 
So it is in the dot ARW format. So there are several ways on how you can apply the LUTs. There are long, there are longer or longer or lengthy steps. There are just simple steps. So I'm just going to show you on how to apply it in a simple way. So in my layer panel, if I go down there, you can see I have this new adjustment layer with a half moon symbol. I'm going to create it. I'm going to click it, and then you can see I will pick color lookup on my drop down, and now you have another layer which is color lookup one, and I can pick to load the color lookup or the LUTs from the list that has been given inside of Photoshop or I can just simply load from my uh, desktop from my LUTs I just created which is like well so I'm going to so you can pick whether you wanted to open as 3DL CSP or so I'm going to just simply pick 3DL and when I open so you can see my color lookup already applied on top of my photos and if I wanted to see before this is before and this is after so it's very 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 fast I don't have to do adjustment one by one the hue the level of saturations all the levels the curves and all so I just simply using lights to apply on my photos second way you can use to apply um, the last is by go to layer new adjustment layer color lookup the same thing but here you have options to rename your layer. So I'm going to name my this one as my LUT. And I'm going to click OK. Then you can see I have a LUT layer. And the same the same pop-up window, which is load, you can load. So I'm going to pick something that already here. I'm going to pick because I shot this one in Sony. So I'm trying ah, let's try this Sony lock too. Ooh, it's very vibrant and a very high exposed because I think this original photo is quite uh, overexposed. So I can still do adjustment by go to maybe I wanted to adjust the curve. And then lowering down a bit, make sure it's uh, not too overexposed. Oh, okay, alright. So as you can see, after you apply the LUTs, you can still apply another adjustment. So you can still do adjustment like a normal thing that you always do inside the Photoshop. Alright, so I guess that's it on how to uh, create the LUTs and on how to apply the LUTs on the images. So if you guys have any questions, any recommendations, any suggestions, any requests, you can always uh, go to my uh, YouTube channels, my Twitter, my Instagram, and just DM me, and then just just ask any question that you wanted. You can uh, you can leave the comments down here uh, down below, and then let me know what you guys think about these tutorials. So hope to see you guys next time.